everyone welcome back to my channel dental cafe if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest video so today we are going to discuss about the types of implant abutment it is one of my favorite topic okay then let's begin the video so first of all what is abutment abutments are connecting pieces that join the prosthesis to the implant it means it joins the prosthesis to the implant it fix over the implant with the help of screw try to understand with the figure look at the figure we have a implant implant fixture over which abutment is tightened this is implant abutment and it is uh, tightened over the implant with the help of screw which is called abutment screw and over which prosthetic part is given okay some important point related to the abutment selection so abutment height should be range between 1 to 10 mm and then 1 to 2 mm of titanium of the abutment should be allowed to penetrate the soft tissue so that there is a less chances of peri implant titis as you can see in the figure, at least 1 to 3 mm of implant abutment titanium should be penetrate the soft tissue. How to select abutment size? First of all, it should be depend upon the vertical distance between the fixture base and the opposing dentition. As you can see in the figure, so uh, to select the abutment size it is very important to measure a distance between the fixture base and the opposing dentition then second most important criteria is the existing circular depth that is sulcus around the implant to be between 0.2 to 0.3 mm as you can see in the figure Third and the last criteria is the aesthetic requirement in the area being restored. Look at the figure. We have a first one is the um, castable abutment which is used for screw retain processes and second abutment is the prefabricated abutment which is used for cement retain processes. Uh, prefabricated abutment basically given in the interior region of the jaw as the excess hole of the castable abutment is not visible in the case of cement retained prosthesis now the classification of abutment we have two type of classification first one is the abutment for fixed prosthesis in this we have a two category definitive and the provisional under definitive we have a prefabricated it can be solid abutment or a hollow which is two piece abutment and in custom made we have a castable abutment or cat cam abutment now the abutment for removable processes that is over denture attachments in attachments we have stud attachment which is very commonly used then bar attachment used in multiple implant cases magnetic attachments telescopic attachment look at the figure we have a first one is a prefabricated abutment which is used for cement retained processes and the second one is a castable abutment which is used for screw retained prosthesis in classification of abutment in this we have a three different types of abutment abutment for screw retention abutment for cement retention and abutment for attachment begin with the abutment for screw retention it uses a screw to retain the prosthesis super structure look at the figure as i have already discussed about the castable abutment which is used for a screw retained bar or a fixed prosthesis second one is the abutment for cement retention in this dental cement is used to retain the prosthesis or super structure in the figure we have a different types of prefabricated abutment the starting one is the straight abutment and the last two abutments are the angulated abutment so they are used for the cement retained prosthesis and the angulated abutment are mostly used in the anterior cases the third one is the abutment for attachment it uses an attachment device to retain a removable processes such as stud o-ring magnets bar etc look at the attachment 
this attachment is called stud attachment and they are used for the removal processes that are implant retained second attachment is the magnets they are also used for the implant retained prosthesis that is over denture and the last attachment is bar and clip attachment they are used in case of multiple implants uh, in multiple implant cases we are given a bar and clip attachment i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any doubt related to this topic do comment on comment section thank you for watching